Hi guys, welcome to Stamptastic. I am very excited to show you all the different techniques that Erin and I have come up with uh, for you to use your new So Very Grateful stamp set. Today, this is a bonus class. This is not a class that was included in your kit. We have eight classes tomorrow for you with all the um, supplies that will be in your kit. But we wanted to throw in a few extra classes so that you would have a few more ideas. This is a shaker card, if you can see. If you are a follower of my blog, you know that I'm a little obsessed right now with shaker cards. So I decided to make a little vintage shaker card with the So Very Grateful stamp set. And I think it's pretty easy. You're going to start with a very vanilla uh, card base. And I stamped the largest image in soft suede. And then I went back and colored it in with my blender pen and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time coloring it in because this is not stays on and these images will bleed a little bit and you can see right here it seems like I may have spent a little too much time on it but that's okay then I stamped the same image on some DSP and I cut them out and I attached them on top of those flowers Last, I took some uh, Daffodil Delight ink and water and I put it on my paintbrush and I splattered all over it. So that's the card base. Now to make the shaker part, I took my DSP and I took an oval framelit and I believe, let's see, this size oval framelit is right at three inches. And I cut it out of the middle of a piece of DSP that is four inches by five and a fourth. So we're going to put that aside. The next thing I needed to do was to make the frame that goes around. So I need the inside part to be the same size as this. So on my cardstock I put in my Big Shot I put the smaller one and the larger one on my Daffodil Delight. Actually I'm sorry this is so saffron, so saffron cardstock and I ran it through at the same time so that I have this. And then I took this large stamp and some Versamark ink and I stamped several times on my frame and I sprinkled it with Whisper White ink, I'm sorry, Whisper White embossing powder and I heated it up with a heat tool and that's the frame. And I think it really gives a vintage feel to my card. Alright, so I'm just going to take some snail and Put my frame right here. Well, make sure you get it lined up. You don't want the DSP showing through. Let me turn it this way because I think this is the way it's supposed to be. There we go. All right, so there. Now we have that. Okay, to make the shaker, you can take any size cellophane bag that you want. These are three by four, yes, three by four that I ordered online. This is not a size that Stampin' Up! carries, but if you have a bigger bag, just cut it down and add some um, sticky strip here on the side like that, and then you'll have the exact same size that you need. Now for inside of my shaker, I cut one of these. This is from a sizzlet called um, Little Leaves, and that's Old Olive, and then I did the same thing with these flowers that I did earlier on the card base. I stamped them on the DSP and I cut them out. And yes, this is fussy cutting, but I think it's worth it. Now you saw I had my embossing buddy in my cellophane bag. Whoops. I do that just to give it a little um, help for the static clean that's inside your bag. And you blow some of that out. And it is a little chalky, but you won't really be able to see it much. That's going to help your pieces not stick and cling to the sides and to each other. All right, so I'm going to put I'm going to put these in in a second. But I also made some confetti using so saffron and my fringe scissors. Okay, so you're going to cut up like this. If you have not gotten the fringe scissors yet, they are fantastic, especially for things like this. So I cut up one side and then I go across and cut up the other side and I make some confetti. All right, now I am going to, I should have moved those out of the way, let's see, get all of that. And the best thing I find is to get a piece of cardstock and sweep those into your, onto your cardstock like that. Open this guy up. 
fold this <laughs> and get them in there like that. All right, try it one more time. I love these spring colors together. I think they're really pretty. I guess, let's see. If you have a second pair of hands, that might help make that a little bit easier. All right, now, I waited to put these other ones in here because I want to make sure they're facing the right way. All right, so I'm going to kind of slide it down in there to make sure that they're not going to flip over and we're going to see the back. And I'm going to kind of arra arrange them how I want. They're not going to stay that way, but at least they've got a good start. Okay, so there you go. Now, in my original, I added some sequins, but I'm not sure I like the sequins because of the vintage feel. So I'm going to leave those out of this one. All right, now I'm going to take a piece of sticky strip about the size of my opening. down there and peel that up and seal my cellophane back. Now mine is a little bit open but I don't think we're going to lose too much out of those little openings. Okay so now you can see that that is going to go right there. So I'm going to take some dimensionals, put one kind of in each corner around my oval and I'm going to flip it over and make sure that the bottom of your bag is right at the bottom there because if not, it's all going to sink down below the cardstock. You won't be able to see it. So I'm going to lay it there like that. Okay? And that's how it's on there. It's just a cellophane bag that makes it really easy. All right, now we're going to put it on our card base. And I'm going to put a dimensional in each of the corners here. I like using stamped images in my shaker bag. I think it kind of adds a, a unique twist rather than just putting sequins or confetti in there. It also brings your stamped image to life. All right, so there you see them in there. The last thing I did was to get some linen thread and I started on the back right here. And I had some tape. Let me grab my tape. And I'm going to tape that right there. And I'm going to wrap it around a few times. Oh, I can get a hold of it. And I want them to kind of crisscross each other. Okay. And then I'm going to trim that. Actually, I'm going to put a piece of tape on it first. Like that. Trim it, and there we have that. Now, I'm going to take my linen thread again, and I'm going to fold it in half so that I have two pieces thick, and I'm going to make my bow like that. Okay, cut those ends off, and grab a glue dot. Place that right there, and there you have it. And you can stamp your sentiment right on the inside. Let's see where mine is. I think I'll use the thank you and the soft suede or the baked brown sugar, whichever I use the first time. Your sentiment doesn't always have to be on the outside. It could be on the inside. And there you have it. A unique twist on the stamp set, one that I don't think um, many people would necessarily think of, um, a shaker. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed your first extra class, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, and we will see you again in the morning. Thanks. Bye-bye.